Hi, it's Ms. Sturman. We'd like to take a moment to thank and honor our veterans. We recognize and understand the sacrifice that you and your families have made in order to uh, protect our freedoms. A number of our staff and students have military connections, so for us, Veterans Day is a little more meaningful. Um, I, in fact, am a part of this great community because of a military move over 20 years ago. Um, and both of my boys are um, either have or are currently serving in the United States military. So um, we just want to say thank you. Uh, we, we would love to have honored you in a much bigger way, but under the circumstances, this, this is what we came up with. So we hope that you enjoy it. Uh, we'd like to honor our veterans by um, revisiting our last year, our 2019-20 school year Veterans Day program. And we hope that you revisit it as well. Thank you so much. And again, thank you veterans for everything you've done. Thank you for your service, veterans. Thank you veterans for your service. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you for your service. A special thank you to my husband, Stevie Morris, and to my father, Jerry Self. Thank you veterans for the sacrifices you make for us. Happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you for your service. Hi veterans. Thank you for your service. A special thanks to my father, Edward Kowalski, and my grandfather, Edward Kowalski. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all the men and women for their service. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you for all you do for us and keeping us safe and keeping us protected. Thanks. Hi, Happy Veterans Day. And I really appreciate all that you all do. Um, I appreciate the sacrifice that you are making for us, especially during these hard times when uh, our families are overwhelmed with the COVID and all. So stay safe and God bless. Happy Veterans Day. Um, thank you guys for all your service. Thank you guys for uh, your dedication to our country and uh, stay safe and once again thank you happy veterans day thank you so much for everything you do thank you veterans for all that you do and thank you for your sacrifices thank you veterans for everything that you do to keep us safe we appreciate you stay safe hello this is miss kenny and miss Wayland from fourth grade at radcliffe elementary school we just wanted to say thank you to all our veterans I would like to say thank you to all of the veterans. Veterans Day has a special meaning to me coming from a family of military. Today I'd like to especially thank my son-in-law, Aaron Darling, for serving in the Marines. Thank you. Hi, we would just like to thank our veterans for their service, especially Philip Carruthers of the U.S. Army and Michael Pfizer of the U.S. Navy. Thank, thank you for your service. service. Hi, I'm Connie Owens, and I'd like to do a shout out for Veterans Day. Uh, thank you all for your service. We really appreciate that you all are out there willing to do this for us. Uh, I have my father who served in World War II and brother-in-laws in the Air Force. So thanks everybody for your service. Hi, I just wanted to shout out to veterans and say thank you for your service. Thank you so much for all you do for us and stay safe. We'd like to thank all of our veterans, and this is Ms. Berthold. And I'm Ms. Rhodes. And I'd like to have a special shout out to my father, Earl Riggs. He was in the Air Force. And my father-in-law, Julius Berthold, who was a general, and he served in the National Guard. I'd like to give a shout out to my dad, who was in the U.S. Army. And he served in the Korean War and two tours of Vietnam. And I'd also like to shout out to my husband, who was in the U.S. Marine Corps, and he served in Iraq. We'd like to say thank you to all our veterans for their dedication and their service. And I'd like to say a special thank you to my husband, Kelly Jaggers. Thank, thank you. you. I just want to say thank you to all the veterans out there, but specifically my veterans and my oldest son, Corey Downey, who was um, Army, HUA, um, to combat tours, bless his heart. And then my younger son, Wesley Downey, who is currently serving the United States Coast Guard and stationed in Louisiana. So thank you guys for what you do. We appreciate you. Thank you for your service from one veteran to all of you. And I want to say thank you to all the veterans and military spouses too. And I just want to give a shout out to my husband, who's a veteran, and to my father, who's a veteran. Thank you so much. Finally, I want to talk about <clears throat> something that, that's common between people who are veterans and people who are not veterans, and this is very important for you to understand. 
So sitting to my right right here are members of the fraternity that I belong to, Alpha, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. A lot of these guys who serve with me are also veterans as well. They're the reason why I'm here right now talking to you. One of our models is all is, first of all, service of all, we will shall transcend all. Service is part of what we do. Sitting to your left and your right, you have teachers who are out in the audience. Teachers, raise your hands. Where are you at? Awesome. Those teachers also serve as well. Right? So the things that we all have in common is that we all serve. Service is important. So if you take something from veterans there, remember that it's important to serve because service is what makes our country great. All right? When we help each other, we're better than when we don't. So try to remember that also on Veterans Day. It's a very important thing to do. So guys, just remember, anyone who has served in the past or present in the, uh, in the armed forces as a veteran, and one of the best ways you can celebrate is just to come up to one of us and say thank you. So guys, it's been a real pleasure to be here with you. Thank you so much for having us. And uh, God bless you.
I want to give another round of applause to those veterans who are here today. But before we do, I'd like to have one moment of silence, please, for those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in giving their lives for our freedom. Now, another round of applause for those who are with us today. Now, another round of applause for those who are with us today. On behalf of Radcliffe Elementary School, we thank you again for coming and for being a part of our family. And God bless you. You are dismissed. First grade. Hi, my name is Ed Freeman. I'm a United States Army officer serving over at Fort Knox, Kentucky. And today I had the wonderful opportunity and honor to speak to the students at Radcliffe Elementary School uh, on behalf of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, which I am a member. Uh, we got a chance to talk to them a little bit about the importance of Veterans Day, the history of it, uh, why honoring veterans is so important, the main reason being because it's our job to defend the Constitution and to defend our freedoms and about how they can celebrate just by basically finding a veteran and thanking us for our, our service and so thanking them for their service and asking them a little bit about themselves. And then we ended it by talking a little bit about the importance of service and that even though veterans are important, there are other ways that we can serve and we can all be great if we serve and help each other. So that was our message today and we had a really good time doing it. The fraternity I'm with is Alpha Phi to Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. We serve here uh, in Hardin County and we try to do the best we can to incorporate ourselves into the community, especially with events like this, so that we can be present and know that, you know, there are people out there who want to help, um, that we're willing to help and do what we can and be an example to other organizations and other people about how they can best serve our community. We really believe in, in children and helping them out because we know the children are our future. If we can help them out, we can have a better future for ourselves as a community as a